Today, we will be starting something I have never done. We will be playing Dead Rising casually. One second. Casually. Does it do that every time? Casality. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, uh, let's start with the new game, 72 hour mode. And because we're playing casually, we will be watching the cutscenes. The tutorial mission's a little bit boring, but we'll still do it just because that's what you do when you play casually. Say, buddy. Yeah, you pal? You mentioned something about research for a story. That's right. Got a tip that something big's happening. In a nowhere little town like that? Sure, you friend. didn't mention anything about it on TV. Yeah, well, I'm freelance, pal. I don't make my living waiting for the TV to tell me what to cover. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Willamette, Colorado. Population 53,594. There's the number. Characteristics. <laughs> About the only thing to do in this town is kill time at the shopping mall. If you didn't know, 53,594 is the number of kills required for zombie genocider. What was that? The army? Looks like taking a helicopter was the way to go. I bet they got all the roads Just adjusting my earbuds. But I'm glad the volume seems to be working. Alright, listen. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes roping it off. Take me over the main street. The start of the game is a little bit slow. But, uh, we get some... We get an opportunity to see what's going on in the town. It's been forever since I've uh, watched these cutscenes. I would say maybe 2010. So uh, uh, if I hadn't mentioned it, I am a platinum holder of this game. So I have 100% of this game before, but I have never played it casually. 76, we'll get a little bit of experience here. Not much though. You need like 20,000 for a level, so it's negligible at best. What is that? Some kind of riot? What? Thanks for the points, dude. Is this what you came to take pictures of? Sure is. No way! And check that out! Look at all those people! It is a little bit slow. I have no if idea. this intro was like twice as fast, that'd be sure. great. Whatever's going on down there. That's a pretty good picture. As usual in this town. And there is one for getting 50 in one shot, but I'm not really going to be focusing on achievements. I don't think. We'll see. I don't think. I kind of want to just play this casually. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Did you see that? Yeah, we'll get one in the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Took a picture of fire. Yeah. Uh, I can already tell this is gonna be fun. Take us down. We have to check out that building. Uh, where? Right below us. This one's actually pretty sad. But I'll take pictures of it anyway. Because that's what Frank West does. He takes pictures first and asks questions later. And he's covered wars, you know. That's coming up shortly. Maybe episode two. We'll see. I think we'll get to the gameplay in this episode, and the second episode will actually... There we go, this one. Actually get to the line right before the grounds. And then splat splat. It's a brutal game, but it's cartoonish 
enough to where it's a little bit funny. On voice impressions, I'm gonna try, but we'll see. I am not so great at voices, so if it's just like horrible, I'm gonna stop, but if I think I can pull it off, I'll try. Uh, the cutscenes are voice acted, but the uh, Can you get me on the rooftop of that interactions line? with the survivors are not. You gotta be kidding me. Man, Frank Lord West doesn't kid. All right, listen. He takes pictures and asks questions later. As long as you're not dead, Fred. It's Frank. It's Frank. Frank West. Remember that name, because the whole world's gonna know it in three days when I get the scoop. All right. I think I'm going to use dolphin sounds on all the curses. I don't really want to promote cursing on the channel. Like, who hasn't heard it, but... I think that's more entertaining than the curses anyway. I might have it. I might have to clip it. Enter Carlito. Hero meets Phil in Trope. You're the reporter, aren't you? Yeah. No. You. Yeah. Came from. Yeah, I'm freelance. You know, go on the battlefield alone, no crew. So, uh, what's going on around here anyway? You came by helicopter, didn't you? What did you see from I the flew sky? over here. Well, but you know, there was a giant metal helicopter with. If it were just a riot. Yeah. I but I flew over here. Quarantined the entire area. The moratorium on information getting out is a little extreme, in my opinion. It's too quiet. <laughs> too quiet? We literally just saw a gas station blow up. There we go. Everyone's already dead. Yeah. So why don't you just tell me already? What's going on? I think you'd better see for yourself. This, my friend. Hey, buddy. Is pal. Not tense. Twelve o'clock. Day one. Yes, it's twelve o'clock on day one. Looks like you're the only journalist that made it out here. I'm looking forward to some nice pictures. <laughs> I'm gonna do that a lot. I'm gonna get A and B mixed up a lot. Yeah, we might have to add a death counter. It's been a long time since I played this game. And because we're playing this casually, I will not be taking pictures of the survivors down in Entrance Plaza. But that is an achievement. I wouldn't have took it in this run anyway. Normally, if I was not playing for 100%, this would be the zombie genocide run. And I would take those pictures on the Saint run. But I'm just gonna have fun. I'm gonna see where this goes. I'm just gonna do what sounds fun, and what sounds fun right now is just... Uh, doing what I feel like doing. So, we'll figure that out when we get there. If I feel like knocking down 20 zombies with a parasol, I'll do it. And you can't stop. <laughs> Quit screwing around! Oh. Oh, where is my Madonna? You. Where is she? Oh, oh, she ruins everything. She starts the game, though. Hey, Isabella. Hey, She's a friend of me. This is time to ogle pretty girls, son. You looking to get yourself beaten alive by zombies? What? Did you have to shoot her in the zombies? face with a shotgun a couple times, but then she there. becomes your friend. You know, it happens. Zombies? What would you call them? Hmm. 
Zombies are stupid and slow. Unless you're playing Left 4 Dead. We should be safe in here. No. All right then. Be like also foreshadowing. Take a look around the mall. Bring anything we can use for the barricade back here. On the way. Come on. Pronto. I think I usually walk through the fountain, but I didn't want to get my feet wet today. Wadi loo, wadi loo. Your emotional trauma doesn't bother me. Wadi loo, wadi loo. You! Stop right there! Do you have any idea what you've done? Why did you I just got here, dude. What are you planning? Would you calm down? I don't even know what you're talking about. Dude. You know what? Maybe the dog looks like that normally. Because there's at least a, p a small population of poodles that are evil. But even still, like, you can tell that dog's gonna bite your leg off the second you get to it. Nom nom. Run! Quick! Move! Get over here! Hey, how'd you know my last name? Everyone! Move this way! Quick! To the stairs! Once again, how are you knowing my last name here? You just met me. Oh, let's see, two by four, and jump and jump and jump and jump and jump and jump. <laughs> Brian Reynolds! No! They just released a new trailer, too. Darn it. Jump to avoid being grabs. Bush jump to avoid being grabs. And if you want to go fast, fast, there's always a skateboard, but I tend to just jump and jump and jump and jump. I don't like you, Otis. Where are the others? It has nothing to do with him. I don't know. Nice guy. I hope they got away. But he just doesn't know when to stop calling you. Transmissionary is the worst achievement in this game, bar none, and I have done 7 Day Survivor. 7 Day Survivor is just a slog. 14 hour slog. Basically just have the game on in a second window and watch YouTube you for 14 hours. That's 7 Day Survivor. You have to strategize like a little bit. They'll get us back into the mall. And apparently, those things aren't smart enough to use the ducks. So they For won't now. be a factor. Wait a minute. For now. You want to get back in there? And for now, Before. I mean, Seven Day Survivor. They never come in the ducks during normal or overtime. Hey. But we're going to get outside and we're just going to go ahead and call this an episode. Hi, Jesse. Camera. Are you a photographer? As a matter of fact, I am. Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? I don't respect you. I am better than you in every way, and I don't respect you. It's been a while since I played this game, but she does look... Nope. She looks like a Resident Evil character. Me, though. Maybe Ashley from Resi 4? Like, it's... Different, uh, hey, not blonde not for blonde, but I'm yet. talking like animation-wise. Just who are you guys? I'm Jesse. The man you saw earlier is Brad. That's all I'm authorized to tell you. Uh, I think I'm gonna give him a deep southern accent. Let's go. You ain't planning on going back down in that mall, are you? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, if you're gonna go, at least take this transceiver with you. And you better take this map, too. That transceiver is going to be the bane of my existence. Let's go. Breaking out of my cage. And I've been doing just fine. I don't need this picture, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of the air duct. 
I guess I don't have to give it 100%. Fantastic! Keep. Assuming we do want to get the survivors and Cletus's gun shack, I forget what it's called, um, we're going to need that photo. But I'm going to end the episode here. We're actually going to start playing in the next episode, so I hope you're looking forward to it. Have a great day, and I will see you later.